hello everybody excuse my hair <laughs> it's one of their mad hair days um i'm in um 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 i'm in the garden sorry you can hear drilling going on because there's um i don't know which house it is it might be that way or that way i think it's come from that way and um, someone's obviously doing um some garden works or something like that because the spring is coming or well, the spring is here if you like and um, and I thought it was such a nice afternoon. We'll come sit in the garden and actually look. I've even got my summer outfit on. And wait a minute, and my flip flops, which you can't see. Yeah. So anyway, and um, Sean is up on the roof, um, painting whatever he's painting. He's painting around the edge of the house. So he might have to call me if I have to go and get the ladders and help him. <laughs> but let's watch that space. Watch this space. Anyway. Let's get on. I've made myself a nice little latte while I'm sitting up the back here, relaxing. Bruno's running around, or oh, he stopped now because he's out of breath. And um, I've got some home bargains bits because it's that time of the week again, you see. I've been in the weekly shop and I've got some bits and pieces, so I thought I'd just share them with you. Um, and then I wanted to do a couple of other um, Easter decorations, but um, I'm not sure if I'll get that done. But let's, let's see how we get on. We go to drilling again. Hang on. I'll just show you these ones with the home bargains, and I think I've showed you these before. Chocolate mini delight, salted caramel with Baileys. I, I, yeah, they're quite Moorish. I'm just going to have one. Wait a minute, I can't get the packet open there. No, that means I'm not meant to have one. Let's get one out anyway. Right. Oh look, they've got like little little dent in them. Can you see? Like that. Oh, you're, you're not having one. Mm. They have got a slight taste of Bailey. It's not too strong, but very caramelly. In fact, I prefer a caramel than a chocolate. Mm. Hanging gun on as well. Mm. Look, you're out of breath because you you're running around like a flipping lunatic. No down. Anyway, but you can see behind me, but we started to get the outside summer house, the undercover bit. Um, some furniture bits and pieces are coming. We're starting to, well, I will be decorating it. Now, you know, putting pictures up and stuff like that, but. At least I've got some furniture I can sit on. So, anyway, let's just get in here. Pop noodles. Uh, do you know what? I meant to have said as well. Get get me receipt at ready something for. You know what I'm like? I do this all the time. Oh, anyway, everyone knows what pot noodles and prices are. What are they fifty p something like that. Um, I know they're not that good for you, but they're all right for a snack. And Sean sure likes them so. Right, let's put them in there in a minute. Um, hay fever tablets, what they fifty p. Always get a couple of them. Sixty nine p. I might be actually. Some little mini eggs to put when we do the little Easter egg hunt. Um, they had loads of packets of these. God, what were they? Thirty nine p. Will you sit down? Um, yep. Yeah, so I've got a couple of packets of them, and we're going to drop them around the garden. And we've got the little baskets I showed you before. Where did we get them from? The pound shop. Um, Blasters. You know, this is nothing, nothing brilliant. Oh, more eggs. Um, I'm not going to bore you everything. I'll only show you a couple of things which I think you might be interested. Deodorants. Oh, <laughs> right, let's move that out of the way. Um, these are really cute and these are going to go in because I'm not buying big Easter eggs. The kids, do you know what? They actually don't eat the egg. They break the egg open and get the sweets out the middle. To me, that's a bit of a waste. I know they look nice and dotted around the garden. I have got a couple, mind you. I'm not going to lie, I've got a couple. Um, but I'm not going to buy the nice big big ones. So what I'm doing instead is um, we're going to do the Easter egg hunt. And then I've got little baskets I'm going to make um, with some marshmallows in. And look at these really lovely little, little gifts. And if I come across a receipt, I'll tell you how much they are. So these is hot, 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 hot chocolate 
instant hot chocolate powder and marshmallows and that all they are it, oh and it serves two two got two servings in there and they're obviously freezer because they've got little little bunnies on the front and the little bunny ears there so they're really cute so i've got a couple of those for the kids i don't know where the other one is um coming off of easter for a second um do you remember i said two ages ago but my hands are really dry my fingertips so i saw this i don't know what it's like because i haven't even opened it it's called cocoa butter softening hand cream with vitamin e and i know this was under a pound I th that, in fact i think it was like 79p i didn't oh oh no yeah because it's all sealed up look so i haven't even opened it i don't know what the texture's like um but let's have a little look a minute I can't get the thing off a minute. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, it does smell of coconut. Coconut. Cocoa butter. This smells of coconut. Is, is that the same thing? Probably not. Right. Oh, it does smell not. Nice. You know what it smells like? Holiday. <laughs> when you put on your, um, uh, your, like your coconut smell sun cream. It's got a lovely texture, it's really thick. It doesn't feel, oh, I don't know whether, I'll hang on a minute, it feels a bit tacky now, I've rubbed it in. Mm. Maybe it's supposed to feel tacky, I don't know. Maybe try this at the night time. But that, oh no, I don't know, no, it's worn, it's gone in there, it's gone in there. Yeah, I quite like that actually. So that's that one, little hand cream there. Now I've got these, because also I remember telling you about my feet being dried feet, uh, because I wear a lot of flip-flops all the time. So this I've got is a deep moisturizing, revitally, revitalizing coconut water, 20 minute foot pack. Right, now they're different, the flavors, different, um, what am I gonna say? Different um, scents that's the word and these these was under a pound and they and they're like a um like a boot like a uh, i can't think what it's called like a little it, ju it just says the little boots they're probably like, like a material gauze or something like that and you literally it says on here thoroughly wash your wash and dry your feet take out and unfold the boots and wear the boots on your feet obviously Remove the boots after 15 to 20 minutes. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna try that. So what we'll do, because I haven't opened it, when I do the next video, I'll put these on while I'm doing the video and then when I'll take them off on camera and we'll see what, we'll see if it makes any difference. But these was under a pound as well, but they had loads of different varieties, so I'm going to give that a go. Um, Chris. Um, your big, big roll of kitchen roll, always have that. Um, is that a receipt? It is, it's not for home pockets. <laughs> Cloths. Um, I love sweet and salty popcorn, so I had to get these. You've got five little snack packs, uh, butter kiss, sweet and salty. Um, oh yes, I've got those, hold on. Ice gems. Um, for Maya for um, her pack lunch and out with pack lunches. They're not allowed to take chocolate in school. So they if they're gonna have a little snack like little biscuits, it's got to be something that chocolate. So ice gems, perfect for that. And they're only little packets. Um, okay, get it back out of the way. I've got, oh, I just bought some, um, you know, the bubble wrap um, envelopes. So if I'm doing ribbons, selling, um, you know, shipping off my ribbons, I can put them in a the bubble wrap. I've got some of those. And I've got this, um, pit, you know, we used to call them dosset boxes. I don't know if you st they're still called dosset boxes, the pill boxes, right? So I picked up one of these um, because, honestly, I'm notorious for getting what day I'm meant to take this medication, what day I'm meant to take that medication. And I've quite a few um, medications I have to take for various ailments. And um, so I thought, okay, let's do this one. And on here, you've got a bed, evening, noon and morning, uh, Sunday to Saturday. I 
think, I'm not too sure, but that might have been 199. So if I come across the receipt, I'll tell you. Anyway, so I've got one of those. Um, wax melts, and I'll show you in a second something which my um, niece is doing as well. She's only 16, bless her. Um, but we'll come on, in fact, we'll save that. I'll show you that in a minute. Picked up these little craft things. They've got loads of like little crafty bits in there. Lay down brooms. Loads of little crafty bits in there for the kiddies. Um, this is Create Your Own Fairy Wand. And Maya did do the wand because she took it out. And she's probably took it back again. Anyway, I saved the packet to show you. So you just create a little fairy wand. And it's literally a star, which is like a foamy. And glitter, glue, sequins, a couple of little ribbons in it, a little wand, and then you obviously make up, up the little fairy wand. And you know what? She sat at the table probably for about a good hour, try, you know, trying to do this. I thought, well, for, and it was something like 59p. Well worth that, you know, to get the kid, kiddies involved in arts and crafts, because you know me, right up my street. Birthday cards, they, got, they do lovely cards in there. I'm, I mean, I'm itching for the card factory to open, but because um, that's nearer to me. But, you know, beautiful cards. Look at that pretty card for 39p. Really lovely cards in there. Now, someone told me they about the floral was what they were doing in there. Um, Claire from Pelly put the petal on, did, and another lady. I went in there again, obviously, at the weekend, and that, the only things they had in there were the sunflowers, but look how nice they are. And I think these were 199 but really pretty. Look how nice they are. Very nice. So well, how many heads? Two, four, five heads, a large one, and four kind of medium-ish ones. Really nice. I don't think you, I don't even have to get them from a wholesaler for that price. And they're very nice quality. Nice thick stem as well to work with, with the wire up the middle. Very, very nice. Put that there. Um, back to the crafty bits again. Maya's already taken these out. So they do these little called stamp markers. And we had them in that when we were kids and that. So you have the set of stamp markers, various colours. And you have one end is like your just your normal pen end, your felt tip pen end. And the other end has got a little stamp on it. So again, perfect for, um, you know, the kiddies stamping paper. And on it, it shows you the colours with the, the stamp attached to that pen. If that makes sense. So double-ended um, stamp markers. I'm pretty sure they was under a pound as well. Um, and you've got eight colours in there. And as you can see, mine's already taken them out. As, as you do. I've showed you these before as well. These are called smart clips. And these are to go on the back of plaques and things like that when I've got pipe cleaners or wires on the back of a plaque instead of trying to hole punch it or something like that um, using these little adhesive clips okay um, not sure how much they were I'm pretty sure they was under a pound as well but they work really well um, well in here oh there you go another crafty bit uh, jumbo glue sticks lovely great big jumbo glue sticks for the kiddies as well to do their gluing and sticking and they was under a pen and you get two in a packet and obviously she's taken it out as you do oh no that's babies let's move that there a minute um i picked up the probably now i won't be buying any more because i won't be going back this week obviously but they've still got in there there if you're decorating for easter they've still got the little bunnies on the sticks um as well as the little easter eggs on the sticks as well little glitter ones so i picked up a couple more of those to do some decorating oh, what else have we got in here easter wise easter wise marshmallow toppers do you remember when i bought the marshmallow toppers before in there to go on your hot chocolate where well, they've got little easter bunny ones and they're really sweet ideal for uh hot chocolate there you go, little bunny ones. So I've got those for the kids. So we can sit outside here at the back here with our uh, hot chocolates and our, and our marshmallows. All right, now I've got Bruno's for biscuits. These great big, if you're a doggy people, great big chunky ones. Let's try them in a minute. And these little chicken and rice dumbbells. 
I called him out. Brutes, what's this? Come here. Here he comes. Any time today. I can't, I'm not even going to tempt her with the camera down because you know what will happen. I'll drop it. Anyway, that's what they look like. That little dumbbell. Here you go. We'll take it then. Oh, you see, sorry, got any teeth, this dog, they're, they're the smallest teeth you've ever seen on a French bulldog. They are tiny. Right, let's move that out of the way. They're quite cheap. Their dog food in there and their biscuits and bits like that for your, for your pets is really, um, really reasonable. Another sip. A minute. Right. Radox for Sean for his muscles aches. Um, oh, I bought the baby because she's into brushing her teeth at the moment and she's nearly one. Bless her. Can you believe that? A year old. This time last year we was get ready to bring, you know, welcome her into the world. Um, this is the naught to two years, you know, just your baby toothpaste um, for her. She's got a little toothbrush and she literally just sits and, and sucks it in her mouth and goes like this. So she's really trying. She watches you. If you brush your teeth, she kind of try and does the same thing. So we thought we'd try all of that. Biscuits. Have to have biscuits. Um, I've got there. Oh, there's the other marshmallow. What's it? Now I've bought in there, I've not tried their equivalent to Lenore, if you like. So their, their make is called Ultra, which actually, I think, something else was called Ultra, I can't remember what it was. Um, this is their blue one, just like your, your, your um, the Comfort do, their blue one, but I really like the Comfort smell of the blue one. Similar smell, not quite as strong. Yes, you've eaten it. You want another one? One minute, I'm just going to give him another one. Actually, let's give him one of these. So it's a really funny job because sometimes he turns his nose up. Right, do you want one of these? Oh, go on then, off you go. Yeah, it's taking it. A um, couple more of the little milk chocolate eggs. Um, I had to uh, bribe Maya one day to eat her dinner and I had two of these and uh, I, had to, I had to bribe her to say, um, come and eat your dinner, you can have chocolate egg in your, in your hot chocolate after dinner before you go to bed. And um, yeah, so I ended up giving her one. So I had to replace it, obviously. So this is for our Easter weekend with our hot chocolates. Um, bag of porridge oats. I'm right into porridge every morning. Every morning I have porridge and yet I used to hate it. So funny. And apart from that, oh no, a couple more things to show you and then I'm done. But I picked up these. I've never seen them in there before. They're called soap bags, made from Remy. Uh, they're, they're like um, eco bags or whatever you call them. I'll, show, I'll get one off of the thing. That's what they look like. Um, and I thought, oh my God, what a good idea. Because you know, like sometimes I like to use soap. I use Dove soap for washing and um, it's got a nice moisturiser so I'm not very good with shower gel for my skin but the dove seems to be fine anyway and I leave it on the floor I'll put it in a soap dish and then the soap dish fills with water and it goes all slimy um, and oh, so I, oh. anyway I saw these so look at that so you hang them obviously in your shower um, you can lather it up and wash all your body with it what a good idea you're not probably going to say, oh yeah, they've been out for ages. Well, I've never seen them and I just think, what a brilliant idea. So I bought, um, I bought a couple. I think they're really good. And actually they would make a lovely little basket. You know, if you was making up little hampers again, remember I did Christmas, Easter, Mother's Day. These, if you were doing a little spa hamper, perfect to go in there. Really nice. Um, that's them. Right, now quickly, I'm just going to show you. Oh no, I did buy Maya um, for the fairy guard and they do these little happy fairy, I think these are $3.99. And it comes with a little, little terracotta, it's actually not terracotta by the way, it's plastic. I've got it next to me, I'll show you in a second. Um, the little plate is uh, plastic, the little pots what you get are plastic and it's got a terracotta hedgehog. You can't see, it's just here, I'll show you in a second. Um, and it comes with one, two, three sets of seeds. 
and when when it grows oh grass seeds as well so when it grows it's going to look like oh you can see by the picture look there you go you can see by the picture really sweet it is light because obviously it's not full terracotta but this is what it looks like oh, and it comes with a little titty fairy so what you do you put some of the seeds in your little hedgehog so then obviously it grows out some of your seeds um in them the seeds are for sweet basil grass seeds and a candy tuft seed which i'm not sure what that is but it might be the them those little flowers the little pink and white flowers can you see anyway so you get a little fairy you get a bag of soil so you put your soil in there you get your little sticks in there as well and you put your seeds in there um so she's going to grow her own fairy garden Ugh. get your words out fairy garden so they're really sweet and you know what i thought the receipt was in it and it's absolutely not so god knows where that is um and now just quickly going on to my little niece um wants to be a graphic designer so she needs to buy some um some some stuff if you like for her um going towards trying to do graphic designer so in order to save up some money um she started to do those i've just picked this one up out of um her balkins the wax melts so she's doing wax melts and things like that so this is her if anybody's interested i'll leave her link i don't know if she's got a facebook page or instagram but i'll ask her and i can link it if i can copy and paste it onto mine if not i'll put it on my facebook page and go onto my page and then you can have a look if you're interested these are little starter packs and in the little starter pack and she does this really well look she wraps them up puts a little sticker on it um you get these little wax melts there's four little hearts i don't know what um smell they are to be honest but they they smell gorgeous so this is your little starter pack, as I say, four of those. You get your little burner in there as well. And in the little burner, she's put, I think, three little tea light -like candles in there as well. And you get, oh, uh, a little titty pink, a little, little blue heart. What smell is that one? It smells a bit coconutty. Yeah, that, oh, actually no, it's more like a sea kind of breeze smell. So that, that's a nice one, a little little blue one. Um, you get these little tiddy ones. These are called Rose Jam. And there's four little slabs in there. Um, you've got this little one. Um, again, I don't know what flavours they are. That's very citrusy, lemony, very pretty, very pretty smell. And then the last one is this one. Oh, that, this has got written on the back, pear drops. Oh yeah, you know, do you remember the sweets, pear drops? Oh my God, that is pear drops. Blimey. So you get a block of that one as well. They look like little chocolate bars. So yeah, there's, I think these are 10 pounds for the staff pack. Um, so if anyone is interested, please let me know. And I can obviously forward you on to her. As I say, it's, you, know, you know, the money she's trying to earn is for, for her career. Um, so that will really help her out. But just to show you, I also got, I picked up, um, before she passed me my little, my little starter pack up, um, the white jasmine, and I'm sure she could probably do uh, similar white jasmine. Are they also got, hang on, let me show you something else in there. She also puts, I don't know if you can see, I'll come a bit closer. Like gl little glitter, I don't know if you can see, but they're like little glitter shimmer bits in there as well. So these will also be nice if you do a pamper or for a gift for somebody. Um, I've just, she's just put mine in a little bag like that, but she can do like bag it out for you, put ribbons all over it and you know, however you want it decorated, very nice. So when you get, this is the one out of the um, home bargains and this has got gl uh, glitter in the back as well. And this one's called Jasmine. And it is, they're re it's really, really nice. Actually, it's a lovely smell, I can smell the jasmine, but it actually smells a bit soapy, if that makes sense. Yeah, that smell is a little bit soapy. And I'm, I'm seriously not just saying that. And they don't. But anyway, you know, you try it, see what, see what you think. But that's, that's a little wax mess, I just wanted to show you that. 
Um, right, so I'm done with the home bargains bits. Give me a minute and I'm gonna get, uh, I've been doing, I wanna show you the lantern I've just done for a memorial for one of my ladies um, who sadly lost a little boy. Um, and she's asked me to do, for, her, for the grave, um, two little lanterns, Easter lanterns. So I've done one and I'll show you that one um, and then I'll show you how I did it. So, wait a minute. Right, so back indoors, and this is the lantern. So you can see it's got oh, so the light shining on it. Oh, honestly, just because the light is so bright at the back, as you know. Let me bring it forward a little bit and see if I can shield the sunlight from shining on it. Let's go closer. Can you see? So you've got the bunny inside. What I'll do in a minute, I'll move the camera. Um, and turn it around the other way so the light's not shining in so you can see a bit better. But you, uh, you can see the, the, the swag. So we've got the swag on the top, filled with Easter eggs. I've got some bow, I've got some deco mesh on there. Um, Cause obviously this is outside, so deco mesh is fine cause it's plastic. And then the items in the middle of, this is glass by the way. So this will protect anything in there. Um, but yeah. So pretty, it's such a, they're such nice little lanterns. And I've even put some like greenery Look at the back. You can't really see it properly, hang on. Let me hold, wait a minute, let me hold that. Just here, and I'm gonna trail that kind of up and round so it looks like it's got greenery growing up it, if you like, make it a bit more natural looking. But really pretty, I'm so pleased that's come out. So I need to do two of those. So the other, I'm gonna do the other one. I've already started to put the swag together. Um, and that's literally the bit, the bit I've got is from the um, home, not home bargains, the range. Do you remember when I showed you the Easter swags? It wasn't swag, it was a spray. So that is literally what that is. So it's the spray, which I bought a couple of them. I don't know if they've still got them in there now. And I've broken it down and I've used other elements of florals, greenery and everything to make, to make that up. And I'm trying to do it as much as I can to match this one. So I'm looking at the swag, what I've already done, and it kind of matches. It's not gonna be identical, obviously, because when you're trying to make two things to be identical, it's, it's quite difficult. So, but most of it, it, it is like, is on there. So I've added the little bunnies, the eggs. Now, then I'm gonna do the deco mesh on the back. Um, <laughs> it's all right, I've got my, my, all right, love. Um, my daughter's coming in and out. She wants to go to the shop. Oh, hold on. I'm going to get her to get me some. Wait a minute. So I needed some milk. Um, we're running low. So anyway, yeah, so there we are with this. Um, I've got some of the little butterflies to put on there as well. The Easter eggs and bunnies. Some... There's the other little bunny. I've really loved these. They're such nice quality. And these were from Home Bargains. Now this one's got a pink bow on it, but I'm gonna swap that out. I did have, what color was on here? Oh, there was another color on here. And I took that off because I made another big, big lantern. And that, them bunnies had pink ribbons. So this one uh, for a little boy is gonna be blue ribbon. So I'm gonna swap that off for a blue ribbon. Um, and yeah, uh, I've actually also made some, and I'm not really good at making pom-poms. Um, but I've actually made some little pom-poms. Now, I'm probably not going to put them on the outside, but if we had a bit of room, we could use the, put little pom-poms in there as well. It just makes it look pretty, and, and obviously pom-poms are soft texture, so it reminds you of, of, of toddlers and babies and small children. Do you know what? Does that make sense? Um, in actual fact, they, they're like little bunnies. Well, this is too big for a bunny's tail, but, you know, you get what I mean. So... There's the swag. And when I did the bow for this, I used the bow dabra because I've used deco mesh, a big, big bow for the deco mesh. And, I, and deco mesh springs, because it's plastic, it springs up, so I need to hold it in place. And what haven't I got in front of me? My bow dabra. So I'm just going to get it, wait a minute. Right. Got the bits. I'm working in a little small space now. I'm up this end of the room and I, a minute, let me shift that down a bit and shift that down a bit 
all right? And let's see how we get on with this. Now this, what I've done for the bottom is, um, shall I do the <laughs> What, I got that. Right, what I've done for the bottom, oh God, that's my back. Oh God. Um, is got the, um, oh, you no, know the artificial grass. Actually, I'm gonna come back up again. Wait a minute. Um, you know the artificial grass you get from pound shop, you know the strips, what I showed you before. So I've got one of those, I've cut it to shape to put it in the bottom of the lantern, so it's the grass area, obviously. When you're doing that, it is so messy, but it sheds. It sheds like crazy, this stuff. Um, and it actually looks like you've got loads, of, like as if you've mowed the grass, and you've got loads of grass bits and dirt. Honestly, it really does. Look, I'm gonna show you. Can you see? So, a minute, I've got to check it away. Anyway, actually, I'm going to get carry it back. Put it on the corner here. And put any rubbish bits in there. So, the next thing I've done, actually on the same bit, which is going in the bottom, I've cut a square to put the bunny on the bottom because I want to stick the bunny to the actual lantern and not the grass itself. And also I've got some foam because we're going to put some florals in there and I've cut a little square out of that so that the foam will then stick on that as well. So if I just quickly lift the lantern up and show you, can you see at the bottom where I've made the little gaps at the moment the door's going to shut? Up the back there, yeah, where the bunny's going to go and the foam. So I'll show you that bit in a minute. So there's the bunny. So um, I'm going to make a little, little um, pale blue bow to go on here. I mean, I could keep the pink. I could keep the pink on there because he's actually got a pink nose. Um, and maybe add a little tiny blue. Take a bit of the pink off, like the gingham bit, because it's got a little tiny gingham bit on there. Can you see? So take the gingham bit off. Right. And then put a tiny little bit of blue because obviously in that floral arrangement I have got some pink bits as well as you can see see here so I have got some pink eggs and that in there so a tiny little bit of pink um, but obviously we don't want it to be too pink I want to incorporate a nice bit of blue but I have got some nice um, blue ribbon with the hearts going through it so I'm very tempted to take off the pink ribbon and make a little bow with this little heart ribbon. So I'm gonna make a little bow and put that on the top. I could probably keep the pink underneath. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep the pink there as well, just, just to give it a little add of, add of touch. So I'm just gonna quickly knock one of these up and I'll be back. Oh, I need to get a drink. Can you just stop it? Stop it. Can I just Honestly. Unless you do that, it's a water. Yeah, I am. Water. Are you done there? Honestly, he's got the keys out there somewhere. Stupid man. Why is he letting me stand here and not pulling them? Hey? I don't know. Are you recording? Yes, I'm trying to film. I'm just trying to do my. What's it? My, my bow. Honestly, they come in here and encroach in my space. <laughs> right, they're gone. I'm moving back again up this end now because <laughs> I've got stuff everywhere and I've got more room. So, let's bring the other one over here. So this is the one we're using, obviously. Can you see? Done the little bow for the, the bunny. I've added it onto the pink to break the pink up. I've glued in, obviously, the greenery on the bottom there. I've got a bit of foam, which I'm just going to quickly cut. Uh, and put it in that back bit. Literally, I've just got a piece about this big. Let me just see. So that's going to go that side. Perfect. Um, so just get... <laughs> Shake your head, that's what I do, I just go. Um, so, measured. And what I'm doing with, 
with the two bunnies I've got, I'm not sure where the lady's going to put these on the grain. Um, but I'm going to do, so one bunny is on the right hand corner of this one, so this bunny is going to be on the left hand corner of this one. So I've made the gap for the bunny to go on, I've made the gap for the foam to go on. Throw a little bit shorter. Yep, perfect. Stick that there. I oh know the glue's right the way up this end of the kitchen. Yeah. Right. And then we are going to actually, what I want to do before that dries completely is catch the back up with a bit of this grass. So you can see, so when I stick it down, that's better. It looks like the grass is growing, is growing around it. Does that make sense? That's it. And then the bunny, he sits. One minute, I've made that too long now, I can't get the bunny in. Cut that. It's like cutting a slice of cake, isn't it? Back in now, Let's see if it fits. Perfect fit. Perfect fit. Now, let's glue his little bum. And then we'll turn him right back like this. How cute. Oh, this is so cute. Right, so we've got him in. We've got our bunny in, we've got the foam in, we're starting to get the, uh, I've got the bow dabble box it out, uh, with ribbons, and then we're just gonna do a quick bow to go on my swag, and then the swag's gonna go on there. Um, I'm not gonna do a full tutorial on adding this on, you know, you've seen me do it before, but it's quite easy. You get your cable ties, you can cable tie, you can get a pipe cleaner, um, and attach it that way. The bow is going to be on the end here, which is going to go here, and you just your ribbons are coming down. Simple stuff. Um, now, I've got a couple of bits of deco mesh, which I'm using. Um, as I say, that is going to be kind of the back of the swag. And then I've also got green as well. So I've got the nice blue, I've got the, the green. I'm just going to cut this. I mean, poke yourself with the scissors in. Uh, 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 now this is only, it's not 10 inch, I think this might be a six inch one. It's only small. Uh, so, where did I? Yeah, I think I did about 10 inches long, roughly. Roll it up. Or ruffle it up, whatever you want to make it into, so you do it into your little bow tie. Okay, and then, but what I did was, actually I didn't make it into a bow tie, that's a lie. I scrunched the end up, so it's going to look like, I've got two of these. Hang on, I'll show you what I mean, that's easier. All right, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm. All right. So we've got two ends. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna scrunch it at one end, right? Hang on, I'll show you in a second when I lift it up. Right, there you go. All right, so we're gonna scrunch it at one end, okay? Then we're gonna get the other one and put that in the, in the bow maker. Can you see the bow maker? All right, yeah, put it in on top of the blue one. Get your other bit, scrunch it up at the end. Okay, and then that's your other corner of your other, the other side of the bow, and shut it in. So now you've got like that, right? Now with deco mesh, when it's in the bow dabber, it doesn't, it, it's trying to bounce back up again. So put something weighty on if you can to hold it down, like scissors or whatever. 
and then you can carry on working with the rest of your ribbons. So the ribbons I've got are blue, blue, uh, and the yellowy and the lilac. Did I use yellow? No. All right. So then I have my three ribbons. I've got a slightly darker blue, like a sky blue, a baby blue, the lilac, and the lime and orange and yellow. Wired. Uh, the only one that's not wired is the baby blue. Now sometimes I've chucked the wheels on the floor, which I've just done, sometimes I don't. So, I'll just put that down there for a minute so I can do, see what I'm doing. So we're gonna go, we're starting off with the blue first, the wide sky blue. And my loops are probably, don't forget I told you that these are floppy, so they're not, I'm not gonna do them too big a loop. However, because we've got the deco mesh there, that's gonna act as a, as a wall if you like. But when you just measure it up to what you've already done, if you're doing that, uh, and I can see that that's probably What's that four inches loop and then we put it in be careful with your scissors take them out don't stab yourself you know I can get to suck them pardon you know I can get to suck them where's suck them so assume what do you know how I can get to suck them I don't know what that is and are you being stupid? Ignore him, stupid man. Right. So, honestly, I don't know what you, I don't know what you sort that off, Tom. Right, so. Right, we're doing, let me put some more ribbon in there. See, it's trying to bounce back, so I'm trying to hold it down and it's trying to bounce back. Loops have I got there? I think I've got about four loops and a couple of tails. So, do another loop and do another tail. So, I've got a couple of tails. And we're going to have a bit of, bit of blue. No, no, we're not having that one. We're going to do a bit of this one next. So I've got some sections I've already cut off. I like this ribbon, it's really nice. Really nice ribbon. Actually, I'm not going to do it like I'm going to do it my hand and then add it. So I'm literally getting my loops. This is double sided, so you don't need to twist it. I mean, you can if you want to, but I no, don't need to. And I'm leaving a couple of little tails, so it's going to be like this. Okay? that in. I'm pushing the tails away from me because it's just easier. I'm going to do another couple. See that I'm twisting it. That's because I just naturally do that. I'm going to have another tail. We can have the tail coming that way. So tail that side. Put it in. And this is where we are so far. Okay. Tails. This again doesn't matter whether it's it's double sided to the satin effect, so it don't matter which. You haven't got a good side and a bad side. Put it that way. Put that in there. Look, it's all twisting around myself. Wait a minute. Another towel. Side. Um, and then I'm going to put a bit of the blue in, the baby blue, and then we'll see where we are. Now this is shiny on one side, so I am going to twist that once I've done this loop. Because... 
nose. It's showing you on one side. Okay. Now I'll do one more. He's in the garden. Oh, honestly, he went about in the garden. He thinks it's summer. Short after. Oh, no, I've got to start. Look. Oh, God's sake. A minute. Oh, that's it. Okay. Blimey, that is long tail. Look at the length of that. I, have to, mm, I might cut that a bit short in a minute. In fact, what I'll do, I'll do another loop. That way. Right now, get your pipe clip. Now, actually, I prefer to use a zip tie with this. So I might have to go and get a zip tie in a minute. Yeah, I think I will. So I'm going to go and get myself a zip tie, put that on there for a minute, and I'll be back. Right. Now, lift it up slightly at the bottom. Scissors falling on the floor. Right, this is quite a thick bow. Get your, get your zip tie, thread it under. If you're doing it for zip tie, will you stop coming in and going? Pfft. Honestly. Um. No, not um. Right, hold your zip tie. Hold your horses. <laughs> horses for courses. Um. And then grip, grip it. It's a bit hard this bit. Right, and then you can lift it up. There's your bow in one piece. So, now don't do the zip tight up tight tight because what we're going to do is all in one bunch. Can you see? All in one bunch, but I, it's loose. So, what I'm going to do is get the pipe cleaner, thread it through the zip tie here. Then that gives us a little bit of um, cold to, to time this way. I don't want to really I'm try not to squash the bow. So we're going to pull it through. And there we go. I mean, obviously you can do that wrap the whole thing with your with your um, pipe cleaner. I'm just doing it this way, giving you another option. Then pull it nice and tight. But twist it so the little knobbly bit here is underneath, right? Under here, so you don't see it. You're not going to see it anyway, but it just, you know, just makes it a bit neater. Just makes it a bit neater. All right, here we go. And there's our bowl. Right, give it a good pull. You want it nice and tight. As tight as you can get it. I'll take your hands a bit. And once I've fluffed all this up, you can have a really nice bow. So we've got our deco mesh and we've got our ribbons. And once that comes on here, you can see you've got your swag. So that's where we are with that. That's taking it all together to put it together like that, which I'm not going to do right this second. Um, dress this up in the middle. And then, and then, that's it. That's where you are. If I just quickly, scissors, oh, a minute. Cut the end off here. I'll just tie it around the swag so you can actually see. And then with the lanterns, you've got the beauty of the little holes up here. So you thread all your cable tie or your zip tie, that's the same thing. Your cable tie, your zip tie or your pipe cleaner, you thread them through the holes and you tie it. 
So it's nice and simple. And then you fluff it all up. You can add more to it. You can add feathers to it. Um, but try and get it as tight as you can. Give it a good twist. And then once you've fluffed your bow up and messed about with it, adjusted your deco mesh um, to cover up the mechanics, you know, all your stems and stuff like that, which is in here. And then once you fluff it up and you put it on there, as you can see, it just looks like that one. Then I'm just gonna add some of the Easter eggs in the top there to fill it out. And you've got a nice little simple swag. So there's your swag for that. I'm gonna decorate this quickly. Um, with the Easter eggs, the sunflowers I've got in here, uh, some butterflies, a bit of foliage, and um, yeah, and then it's all done. So I'm going to quickly finish it and then I'll show you. Won't be long. So there's the two. I'm going to tidy up all the ribbons. I don't generally dovetail the ends of the thin ones, um, but I do cut them at an angle. So, dovetail the wide ones. And then they're good to go. And just curl them up a little bit. Look, it's pulling to the side there. Anyway, once I've obviously secure it better, um, that will stay. Curl up them ones. Um, and uh, yeah, I probably, which I did with this one because they're going actually outside um, in a public area, will cable tie the swag onto here rather than um, a pipe cleaner because I just think I don't want someone to nick it. So I'm going to cable tie it and then that will secure it obviously which I've done that one but I've just done it that for the purposes of the video just to show you but look how nice they are two pretty lanterns for Easter for a lovely customer anyway there you go hope you like this this video and a little tutorial and um I'll catch up with you soon have a nice week bye